Disney Cruise Line tips for first-time travelers or experienced travelers. Going on a Disney cruise means you are a traveler. Going for the first time on any cruise, including your first Disney cruise, can be very exciting, but also cause a little anxiety at the same time. Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. In today's video, Disney Cruise Tips for Travelers, first time or not, our goal is to reduce your anxiety and increase your enjoyment as you plan for and experience all that your Disney Cruise has to offer. We hope to do this by providing you with more than 75 of our personal insider tips from our own experience cruising on multiple cruise lines, including, of course, Disney Cruise Line. And, of course, we'll provide you with some bonus tips at the end of this Nancy Dan Travel video. We will review our more than 75 tips in the order that you will typically use them, starting with selecting and booking your Disney cruise, then tips for steps you should consider before your cruise boarding day. This will be followed by a large collection of our recommendations and ideas to make your first day and your entire Disney cruise more enjoyable. And finally, our remaining collection of recommendations for both first-timers and Castaway Club members throughout your Disney cruise. Yet every now and again, the number of days you need to wait to perform certain tasks may change. So always, always check with your travel agent who specializes in Disney if you are using one, or check your Disney Cruise Line app, known as the Disney Cruise Line's Navigator app, on your smartphone or tablet for the timing of such activities for your specific Disney cruise. Let us know in the comments what tips we missed and which suggestions were the most helpful for you. We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to share this video on your own Facebook page or directly with your friends if you think it will help them with their own Disney Cruise Line adventure. And as you're going through this video, if it's helping you plan for your next Disney cruise, please consider giving it thumbs up and consider subscribing to our Nancy and Dan Travel YouTube channel where we focus on all things Disney. More than 75 Disney Cruise Line Insider Tips. We're going to go fast to save you time, so let's get started. First up are eight recommendations and suggestions for you to consider when you are selecting and booking your next Disney Cruise Line cruise. Number one, when to book your Disney cruise. The earlier you book your cruise, the less costly it will typically be and the best selection of available cabins you will have from which to... This is especially important if you are concerned about possible seasickness on the cruise as you want to reserve a cabin that is in the sweet spot of the ship. Number two, which Disney ship to travel on? It does make a difference. Consider not taking the newest Disney Cruise Line ship. These may have more bells and whistles but typically cost more a lot more in some cases than the not so new Disney Cruise Line ship. Yet for some world locations, there will be no choice as there is only one Disney Cruise Line ship sailing. Number three, least costly times of the year for a Disney cruise. The off season is cheaper than during times of the year when kids are typically out of school. Of course, holiday themed cruises typically cost more than not. Number four, Access deck plans before making a cabin selection. Choose cabins on decks with cabins below and above you. This is our preferred location for our cabin, as it will be more quiet than if a restaurant was located right above or right below our stateroom. Yet, if you have children who will be using the various kids clubs that Disney's Cruise Line is famous for on board, you might want to select a cabin that is closer to them. Or if you are concerned about seasickness, you want to have a cabin in the middle of the ship on one of the lower decks where the ship's movements will be felt less. Which side of the ship should you select for your cabin when sailing from Port Canaveral? It's the starboard side of the ship as the starboard side will provide views from you as you are arriving at and departing from Castaway Key. Identical names. Be sure that the name on your cruise reservation matches exactly the name on your passport or whatever ID documentation you will use for identification verification when you are boarding your cruise ship. And number eight, use a travel agent that does not charge service fees. 
Travel agents have experience that you may not have. They can provide savings such as onboard credits to be added to your account on the Disney ship to purchase anything you want. More importantly, they can help you with your cabin selection, provide advice for you on activities and ideas you may not be aware of on a typically Disney cruise, and so much more. The second collection of 30 ideas and recommendations are for you to consider between the day when you book your Disney Cruise Line cruise and the day before you actually board your next Disney Cruise Line cruise. Number nine, download the Disney Cruise Line app known as the Navigator app. We cannot emphasize enough how useful this app is before and during your cruise. It shows you how much of your balance is yet to be paid for your cruise. The actual start date, the actual date you can start to check in for your cruise at midnight Eastern time. You can check various options available to you, including your selected dining rotation and modify your selections. Number 10, stay the night before anywhere near your departure port. If you are flying or driving a long distance to your Disney Cruise Line ship departure port, to not plan to arrive on the actual day of departure. Too many things can go wrong when you plan to fly in or drive a long distance on the departure day. Flights can be canceled. An accident on the highway can delay your car's arrival. The Disney ship will not wait for you. Number 11, do not take the last flight out. Last flights out are impacted by any delays occurring throughout the day, and if they are canceled, you may be trying to get a seat on a flight on your day of departure along with everybody else whose flights were canceled. Combine using the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus from Walt Disney World with staying the night before at a Walt Disney World resort. Disney Cruise Line automatically assigns an early boarding time when you use the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus based on the Disney Resort where you spend the night before at Walt Disney World. Nancy and I, for example, had no Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club status for our first Disney Cruise Line adventure on the Disney Wish, and we received boarding group one. How is that possible? It was only because we stayed at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa the night before our cruise okay, departure. Can you get your IDs out for me? Number 13. Make dining reservations for specialty dining as soon as reservations open up for your Disney Cruise Reservation. These go very fast. We strongly suggest that you make them as soon as your advanced booking window opens. This depends on your Castaway Club status. Those with Castaway Club status or have a concierge class cabin can book these several days in advance of those who are sailing for the first time on a Disney cruise ship. So don't be surprised if the date and time you want for a specialty dining reservation is already gone. So be prepared with a plan B and a plan C alternate dining times and days that you can use. First time cruisers can book only 75 days from the sale date, while Silver Castaway Club members can make their specialty dining reservations 90 days before sale date. Gold and Up can book even further out from the cruise sailing date. Your Disney Cruise Line app will show you the soonest date when you can begin to make these specialty dining reservations. Number 14, the earliest time to book specialty dining. As with many of these pre-cruise reservations, the booking window opens up at midnight Eastern time. Number 15, Reserve the It's a Small World Nursery if you need it as soon as possible. Even if you are not sure you will be able to grab certain activities or specialty dining on the days and time you want, you can cancel up to four hours in advance with no penalties. Number 16. Consider the adults-only restaurants on board. Far and away, the best meal Nancy Thank and I you. have had on a Disney Beautiful. Cruise Line ship was at one of their adults-only restaurants. While additional fees apply when you dine there, the fact that reservations go so quickly should tell you something about just how wonderful a meal is at Paolo, Paolo Steakhouse, Remy, or Enchanté by Chef Armand Lamont. Which ones will be on your Disney Cruise Line cruise will depend on your particular Disney Cruise Line ship.
Number 17. Consider a late dining rotation. This is one where everyone has their own opinion. For USA Voyages, the main dining seatings begin at 5.45 p.m. with the second starting at 8 p.m. We prefer to see the night's Broadway-style Disney show on the Disney cruise ships in the main theater before them. For half-day excursions and tours at your Disney cruise ship's port of call, consider non-Disney tour operators, as they frequently cost less. Our favorite suppliers are Viator and Via Tours in Europe. Number 19. For full day excursions, consider using a Disney excursion if you feel the risk of you not returning to your ship before it departs is great. Disney will hold its cruise ship if the excursion at the port of call was booked through Disney and it has not yet returned. Number 20. Consider travel insurance. I have a question for you. What would it cost if you or your family traveling with you had a medical emergency while out at sea? A lot of money. Various options are available to you. Your travel agent will have various travel insurance options from which you can select, including some from Disney. Even have annual travel insurance options, such as what Nancy and I use. Number 21. Join a Facebook group for your Disney cruise. Group meetups, folks might post that they just canceled a Apollo reservation that you wanted, but it was sold out when you first tried. These Facebook groups are lots of fun. Number 22, free Disney characters calling you. This can be set up at the My Reservation section in the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app, which will take you to a Disney Cruise Line website to set it up. You have a maximum of two calls from a Disney character per reservation. This can be fun for guests of all ages. Number 23, be prepared for all of the documentation you need to check in for your Disney cruise. The Disney Cruise Line site will tell you exactly what they require. This includes clear photos or headshots without glasses or hats against a plain background, plus pictures of your travel documents, if you're using your passport, it's the main page in the passport that includes your picture. Information on your flights after your cruise. Date of birth and home address for everyone. Credit card information for all onboard purchases. And if you're using one of the kids clubs, the secret passcode. Number 24, check-in information. Save all of the information needed for check-in on a Word document as you can copy and paste during your online check-in. This makes things faster and helps avoid those embarrassing typos. Number 25, multiple devices ready for online check-in. If it's your first or second Disney Cruise Line cruise and you want to get the earliest boarding time possible, use multiple devices, a laptop, tablet, and smartphone in case one or the other crashes. Number 26, check in online as soon as you can for the earliest boarding time when not using the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus from Walt Disney World to Port Canaveral. The Disney Cruise Line Navigator app will tell you exactly which date you can begin your check-in. Number 27, the earliest date to check-in. For Disney Cruise Line, for first-time cruisers, it's 30 days before sailing departure date. Number 28, the earliest time to check-in. Once again, it's midnight Eastern time. Number 29, buy and bring a few personalized door magnets. These can be lots of fun, yet on a more practical purpose, it helps you find your cabin because your door will only look like your cabin door oh, wow. and not like anybody else's. Number 30, number 30, Disney Cruise Line Photo Pass. While it might not be cheap, in our opinion, it is worth it for lots and lots of pictures throughout your cruise, including on Castaway Key. Number 31, Royal Gathering. Up to 30 days before the boarding date, again, starting at midnight Eastern, you can make a reservation to meet five Disney princesses, back to back to back to back to back. And this is complimentary, yet these are in high demand. Number 32, Kids Clubs. 
Online check-in is available for youth clubs like Oceaneers Club and Oceaneers Lab used for registration of your children. On boarding day, go get the bracelet for your child that acts like a magic band. There is a deposit that is charged to your stateroom, yet it is reversed when you turn in that bracelet at the end of your cruise. Number 33. Bring nicer clothes for Paolo. Slacks or business casual for guys, sundresses for ladies. Check the Disney Cruise Line websites for specific dress codes for the specialty restaurants, including Paolo. Number 34. Character dress-up clothing. Pirate night costumes, clothes for Marvel restaurant on the Disney Wish. Give me lots of fun. Number 35, bring refillable cups or a water bottle. We brought an old Walt Disney World refillable mug. The water in your cabins from the faucets in both bathrooms are drinkable per Disney Cruise Line. Yet for our room, it was nice to have a soda or lemonade handy. Also, it helps if you're going to say bingo or trivia in case you become thirsty during the activity. Number 36, consider magnetic hooks. These are useful to hang damp bathing suits, lanyards, and so on on the walls or doors inside your cabin to help them dry. Number 37, bring towel clips. You can use these to put on towels you use on your lounge chairs. Also, they help secure your hats and cover-ups as it can be windy on the upper decks where the swimming pools are. Number 38, consider bringing a nightlight. Rooms when the drapes are closed and especially inside cabins can be very dark at night. So having a nightlight can help you navigate. Number 39, bring a spare card for your cabin's light slot. In case you're not aware, in order for the lights inside your cabin to work, you have to have your key card inside your cabin's light slot. It's on the wall close to the door where you enter. However, it does not have to be your Disney Cruise key card. Any card resembling a credit card, library card, driver's license, and so on will do. Now, we do not recommend using a driver's license or a credit card, but maybe a library card, or maybe the Disney key card from your last Disney Cruise will do. And bonus tip here, if you do have to use your Disney key card and you forget to retrieve it when you leave your cabin, you can lock yourself out of your room. So by having a different type of card in your cabin's light slot, chances are much less of you locking yourself out of your cabin when you leave. This third collection of now 15 ideas and recommendations are for you to consider on the day you actually board your Disney Cruise Line ship to start your Disney cruising adventure. Halloween. Tip number 40, Disney Cruise Line Shuttle. No, no, no. We mentioned it earlier indirectly, for a Port Canaveral departure, if you do not have your own car, we strongly recommend you use the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus to and from the port, from Walt Disney World Resort or from the Orlando International Airport. It is super convenient. The cast members, of course, are all super friendly and helpful. It is a very relaxing way to get to the Disney Cruise Line terminal. Nancy and I used it on our last cruise and it was great. Presently, it costs $45 per person each way. You can make the reservation within the Disney Cruise Line app or online at the Disney Cruise Line website, but only once Disney has confirmed the bus schedule. If you do have a car, parking at the Port Canaveral Terminal is currently approximately $17 per day for your vehicle. So if you have a large number in your sailing party, that could be a less costly way to go versus the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus, as long as you are okay with having a later boarding time. Tip number 42, port arrival time. Port arrival time is not the same as boarding time. The two are very different. Port arrival time is the time you are expected and allowed to arrive at your port. Do not arrive much earlier because you could very well be turned away and asked to return back later at your scheduled port arrival time. Tip number 43, see guest services as soon as you board. If you need to make any change in dining reservations you made before boarding or want a different dining rotation or anything adjusted for your cruise, see guest services and guest relations as soon as you board. Nancy and I wanted a separate dining table for our dining rotation since we were celebrating our wedding anniversary. So we saw guest services as soon as we boarded and the cast member directed us to a room where we met with senior staff to accommodate our request. Tip number 44. 
On boarding day, eat your lunch in a restaurant, not the open buffet. Good morning. There will be plenty time to enjoy the buffet for lunch called Marceline Market on the Disney Wish or Cabanas on the Disney Magic Wonder Dream and Fantasy. Your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app will tell you which restaurant is to be used for the sit-down lunch on embarkation day. Or simply ask one of the cast members in guest relations. Tip number 45. Don't forget your carry-on bag. It's great that Disney cast members will look after getting your luggage from Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus to your cabin. Yet, you will want to bring some important items directly with you when you board. This would be everything from any medications you use, your passport, other forms of identification, your swimsuit, etc. in case you decide to use a swimming pool and water slide on board, a change of clothes for the night's activities in case your luggage does not get to your cabin in time. Also include any valuables such as laptops, iPads, tablets, charging cords, cash, jewelry, breakables with you when you board. Number 46, be familiar with all the activities scheduled for your Disney Cruise on the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. After you have passed check-in security and have boarded and are enjoying lunch, it is a great time to check out the complete list of daily activities for each day of your cruise and identify which are the ones you want to attend. Also in the app, you can select which of those you want to attend and then under your plans in the Disney Navigator app, it will list them for you to help remind you, even though it does not guarantee you a seat. For example, some of the trivia and bingo activities fill up quickly on a first come first serve basis. You can also stop by guest services and obtain a hard copy or paper copy each morning of your cruise if you prefer. Tip number 47, check out your cabin as soon as you can. Your cabin aboard your Disney Cruise Line ship will be available to you typically in the early afternoon on the day you board your cruise. Be sure to check out your cabin and identify anything that is not quite right or needs adjusting as soon as you are able to. Be sure to check out your cabin and identify anything that's just not right or needs adjusting as soon as you can. And then advise your assigned room attendant so they can make things just right for you. Tip number 48. Boarding identification documents. Triple check that you have these as you cannot board without them. Tip number 49, luggage tags. If you did not receive your luggage tags in the mail before you left home for your cruise, don't worry, don't panic. The porters at the Disney Cruise Terminal have extras and will help you complete them. Tip number 50, the spa on embarkation day. Check out the spa for any rainforest room passes, either length of cruise or day passes. Enter raffles, any discounts they might have. Good morning. Tip number 51, last minute reservation openings. Check the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app for any specialty dining, drink tastings, and so on that were sold out pre-cruise as soon as you board for any last minute spots that Disney Cruise Line might have held back and are now releasing. Number 52, special dietary needs. Uh, when you board your Disney Cruise Line ship, make sure you go to guest services for them to direct you where you can meet with the dining team and the chefs to make sure that your special and unique dietary needs are fully understood. They will also guide you on how they will meet your special dietary needs on Castaway Key, Lighthouse Key, and they will guide you on the Carabana's Buffet or Marceline Market Buffet, depending upon which Disney ship, of course, for your special dietary needs. Number 53, Kids Club's Open House. Bring your kids with you on the day that you board when they have the open house so you can help orient them and help them reduce any anxiety they may have while you are with them, even if you don't have a reservation. Number 54, Attend the Sail Away Party. Disney Cruise Line has, by far, the best Sail Away Parties on any cruise line Nancy and I have taken. They are not to be missed. Fun, games, music, Disney characters, dancing, it's such a great time. And start your cruise off in a wonderful way. Number 55. Go and secure your spot early for the Sail Away Party. Get your spot early for the Sail Away Party 
we would say between 30 and 45 minutes before it starts, as it is extremely popular and can get very crowded on the deck. This fourth collection now of 22 recommendations and suggestions are yours to consider throughout your cruise, including the day you board your next Disney Cruise Line adventure. This includes, towards the end, some very important ideas and recommendations for you to consider on your disembarkation day, the day that your cruise ends and you leave the ship. Number 56, long restaurant lines for rotational dining. Not to worry, everyone has an assigned table. The table number is printed on your key card and shown in the DCL app. Lines go very quickly and you will not be rushed once you are seated at your assigned table. Number 57, take advantage of Disney character photo opportunities on board. Character photo opportunities on a Disney cruise ship are one of the differentiators from any other cruise line and they are scheduled throughout the day. Be sure to take advantage of them to enhance your enjoyment during your cruise to provide great memories for you and your family after the cruise. They will be listed during the cruise on the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. And the lines will be much, much shorter than trying to get a photo with Mickey or Minnie or Daisy or the other Disney characters in the Disney theme parks. Number 58, check out the Disney artwork throughout the ship. To us, this is the most underrated differentiator between a Disney cruise ship and all the rest. The artwork and artifacts are everywhere throughout the ship in the restaurants, on the interior stairway walls, and more. You will likely never be in a position to appreciate so much outstanding artwork again than while on a Disney cruise ship. So take the time to enjoy them while on your cruise. Number 59, Disney art and artifacts in the 1923 Walt and Roy Disney restaurants. Go into, with permission of course, the 1923 Walt and Roy Disney restaurants on the Disney Wish before they open and take the time just to walk around and look at all the wonderful Disney art. You will not get time to do this during your meals as other passengers are trying to eat their meal and they won't want to be interrupted by you as you go up to their table and view the wonderful Disney art. Number 60, take the free ship tour early in your cruise. We did this on the last day of our Disney Wish Cruise. It was free. It was great. We had a wonderful cast member giving her insights and background stories. We saw parts of the Disney cruise ship that we had not yet been to during our voyage. Try to take the tour early on your voyage as it will help you navigate the ship during the rest of your cruise. Number 61. Drink of the day cocktail at reduced price. Enough said. It will be listed on your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app and you can go up to any bar Ask the bartender and they'll tell you. Number 62, alcoholic drink of the day souvenir cup. This receives about 25 to 30% more for the same price. You may also purchase these souvenir cups anytime during your cruise while supplies last by inquiring with the bartender or deck attendant. But of course, you can make the most of your purchase by taking advantage of the opportunity for more refills if you buy early in your itinerary. You can rinse out the cup in your stateroom sink, but as you present it for a refill, you can also receive a fresh cup from the server throughout your sailing. You are, of course, welcome to bring the cup home. Number 63, smoothie souvenir cups. The same deal receives about 25 to 30% more for the same price. Number 64, Disney Beer Mug Savings Package. The Disney Beer Mug Savings Package can be purchased prior to sailing through the onboard gifts and amenities area of the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app up to three days prior to your sail date, and of course, once you are on board. This one-time purchase of the Souvenir Beer Mug allows you to receive a 21-ounce pour, about 1.3 pints, of a variety of draft beer and ciders for the same price of a non-Souvenir 16-ounce pour, about one pint, throughout your cruise. The bartenders can exchange the physical mug for a small token that you can have in your hand. It's much easier to carry around the ship until the next time you're ready for a refill. Room service breakfast on Castaway Key and other early port arrival days. Room service is 24 hours and is free on the Disney Cruise Line ship. Take advantage of room service breakfast on any day, which is an early port day, or where you feel you want to be one of the first off the ship, such as Castaway Key Day. And it's a nice perk 
It feels very luxurious. Do be sure to tip your cast member who brings you your food, of course. Number 66. Don't forget shipboard activities during sea days and port days. There are so many shipboard activities on Disney cruises, it is hard to know where to begin. It's a great time to have fun doing activities you might not do back at home on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything from bingo, for a fee, to numerous types of trivia games, to beverage tastings, again for a fee, which sell out very quickly, so book as soon as you can pre-check-in. Of course, activities by the pool or lounging around and in the pool when weather permits is also, of course, a wonderful activity. Be sure to, once again, take some time on the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app before and throughout your Disney cruise to identify which onboard activities you want to participate in throughout the days and nights at sea. Number 67. Make time to relax. It's easy to say, yet so hard to do on a Disney cruise because there is so much going on all the time. It could be a drink with friends in one of the lounges in the evening, before or after dinner. It could be time at the pool. It could be a specialty coffee in the adults-only area of your Disney ship. It could be taking a nap back in your cabin or on a lounger in a shady area up on deck. Number 68. Don't forget about the adults-only area. Each Disney Cruise Line ship is just that little bit different. Spend time in the adults-only area to help you decompress from all the children on board and all of the activities. Some, like the Disney Wish, have their own enclosed specialty coffee bar called Cove Cafe, as well as an outdoor beverage bar called the Currents Bar. Once, Nancy and I had an acoustic guitar performance in the adults-only area of the Disney Wish. It was a great surprise. All the Disney Cruise Line ships have an adults-only area with their own pool and whirlpool spa. Number 69, the best place to watch the fireworks. On the Disney Wish, for example, the best place to watch fireworks is one deck above the outdoor stage where the Sail Away Party and the Pirates Night Outdoor Show occur. If you're facing, for example, on the Disney Wish, the Funnel Vision deck stage on deck 11, go to the right, and go up the flight of stairs to the viewing area, one deck above on deck 12. The fireworks usually go off to the right of the Disney Wish Funnel Vision deck stage. So if you go up to the viewing area, one deck above to the right, you'll have a great view of both the stage show and the fireworks show on those special nights. Tip number 70, grab your fireworks show spot early. Get the spot early for best locations for the fireworks at night. I would suggest, once again, at least 30 to 45 minutes prior to the start of the show. Tip number 71. Use the area under your bed in your cabin to store suitcases. It's easy to forget, but this is a great place to store luggage so it is out of the way yet easily accessible. GoPro stop recording. Number 72. Buy a placeholder reservation while on board. Disney is one of the very few cruise lines where if you do not use your future cruise payment, you'll get your money back. For Disney, it's within two years. As well, it also gives you 10% off most future Disney cruises and a reduced deposit on sailings of seven nights or more. It's a win-win, no-lose. Tip number 73. Watch part or all of a Disney movie outside on the Funnel Vision. Where else, other than most Disney resorts on land, can you watch a Disney movie outside under the sun or under the stars? It's truly a unique experience. Tip number 74, guest relations. Get to know the cast members who work there. Any questions you might have throughout their cruise, they can answer or get the answer for you. Don't be shy. Tip number 75, extra gratuities through guest relations. We are told that many cruise ship workers, including Disney Cruise Line cast members, will send money back home to family and that receiving extra gratuities from guests in cash makes that more challenging. Therefore, by going to guest services and having additional gratuities charged to your account for specific cast members who have gone above and beyond for you will certainly be appreciated by them. Tip number, seven, tip number 76 and bonus tip one. Just after 1 a.m. on the last night of your cruise, room service ends, so there is no room service breakfast available on disembarkation day. There will be, of course, breakfast available 
at Carabana's or Marceline Market, depending upon your Disney cruise ship, and at least one of the restaurants. Tip number 77 and bonus tip two. Consider not leaving your suitcase outside your cabin on the last night. This is a standard practice in the cruise industry whereby guests leave their larger suitcases in the hallway outside their cabin door with the appropriate luggage tags. However, even if taking the Disney Cruise Line shuttle bus, you still need to take the time to collect your suitcase in the terminal before you board your bus back to the airport or back to Walt Disney World. Consider, especially if you drove to the port or will be catching a taxi once you get off the ship, consider taking your luggage yourself when you depart the ship as it will save you anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. Tip number 78 and bonus tip number three. Get in early for disembarkation. Cruise ships assign the time guests can disembark the ship in a variety of ways. Even with this, the lines can be long to leave your ship. We suggest you leave your cabin a good 30 minutes if you're able to prior to your assigned disembarkation time to start to get in line and thus be able to leave the ship that much sooner. If you are taking a Disney cruise from Port Canaveral, you may wish to go through this video right now, which covers everything you need to know using the Disney Cruise Lines shuttle bus from Walt Disney World to Port Canaveral. It's one of our most popular Disney related travel videos. Or here's another Disney video from our Nancy and Dan travel channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.